Hello guys, good afternoon everyone. Could I ask you how are you? Yes, I should ask. Yes. Okay, dear student, in the previous class we discussed about the major ch chapter from the history that is French Revolution. Yes. And today we are going to start. Uh, today we shall study a new chapter from civics part that is why is democracy? So what is democracy? Why democracy? Yes. So today we are going to learn or uh, today we shall study about what is democracy and why democracy. Okay. First we will discuss about what is democracy. Yes. So we will discuss about what is democracy. Okay. Say the word democracy. Yes. The word democracy derived from yes, the word democracy derived from Greek word. Yes, the word democracy derived from Greek word demo and Kratia. Yes, demo and Kratia. Yes, the word democracy derived from the Greek word called demo and Kratia. Demo means people. Yes. Kratia means rule. Yes. Mean rule by the people. Yes. So it shows that the democracy is completely dependent. Yes. Completely dependent on whom? On the peoples. So without the people, we cannot get to see a democracy form of a government or democracy. Yes. Clear? Understood? The word democracy derived from the Greek word called demo and kratia means people and rule. Rule by the people or people's rule. See here, the most important yes, is that the Abraham Lincoln gave a simple definition about democracy that so democracy is all about yes democracy is all about or he said that democracy is of the people by the people and for the people yes democracy is of the people by the people and for the people yes this is democracy or according to abraham lincoln okay here the simple definition of democracy yes we will learn first the simple definition of a democracy. <clears throat> okay. See, first, what do you mean by democracy? Yes. So, democracy is a... Yes. See, uh, Democracy is a form of government. Yes, democracy is a form of government in which yes, democracy is a form of government are yes, rulers are elected by elected by the people. Yes. So this is a common or the simple definition of a democracy. What is democracy or what do you mean by democracy? Democracy is a form of government. Yes. Democracy is a form of government in which rulers are elected by the people. So this is called an what? This is called a democracy or it is a simple definition of a democracy. Okay, say so here, in many countries, yes, some of the rulers rule the countries, yes, not only based on the democracy in the other ways. For example, here, I can give you some example that uh, the army rulers of Myanmar, yes, the army rulers of Myanmar are not elected by the people, but even though they ruled the country, yes, they ruled the country, but in a monarchical form of a government or dictatorship form of a government. Yes, not only the army rulers of Myanmar, even 
the dictators yes dictators like pinochet yes dictator like a uh, pinochet who elected by the people are not elected by the people but he to ruled the country yes he to ruled the country in the form of monarchy or dictatorship government yes in the same way the king of nepal and saudi arabia yes the king of nepal and saudi arabia also not elected by the people but they ruled the country because yes because they happen to be born in a yes because they happen to be born in a royal family they happen to be born in a royal family so that reason they ruled the country see none of them are elected by the people yes they ruled the country by their virtue or by their power because they happen to be born in a what they happen to be born in a royal family so this is the simple definition of a democracy that democracy is a form of a government in which rulers are elected by the home, elected by the people so people are the most important in a democracy so without people we cannot get to see a democracy form of government or democracy clear okay so this simple definition yes this simple definition raises some question yes what is that simple definition democracy is a form of a government in which the rulers are elected by the whom elected by the people so here some questions arises that who are the rulers yes who are the rulers in this definition who are the main rulers here people because the representatives are appointed by the whom appointed by the people means the representatives or the rulers are enjoying a power on behalf of the people so that who are the main rulers of this definition second question is what kind of election constitutes a democratic of election third question is second question third question who are the people who elects the rulers and get elected as a ruler yes and finally what kind of government yes what kind of government is democracy yes and fifth question is the most important yes arise that can elected rulers yes can elected rulers do whatever they want to do whatever they want to do in a democracy no yes is a certain rules and regulations where the representative or elected representative must stand follow yes so that elected leaders can't do whatever he want to do in a democracy okay so that there are some examples or the instances or the case studies given here by reading those case studies or by discussing those case studies we will get a features of the democracy or one by one features of the democracy the next we'll discuss about this features yes features of democracy yes features of what features of a, a democracy okay see so here the first case study like this major decisions taken by elected leaders yes say so in pakistan yes in pakistan yes in pakistan general parvez musharraf in pakistan general parvez musharraf led an a military coup yes in pakistan general parvez musharraf Yes. in pakistan general parvez musharraf led an a military coup in october yes in october 1999 yes in pakistan general parvez musharraf led an a military coup in october 1999 means in the form of dictatorship government yes and see what he 
did is he overthrew yes he overthrew democratically elected government in pakistan and he declared himself as a chief executive of the country then it shows that he wanted to rule the country based on the monarchical form of a government or dictatorship form of a government yes so that reason here what he did he overthrew the democratically elected government yes and declared himself as a chief executive of country not only he declared himself as a chief executive of the country even later he changed his designation from chief executive to president yes later he changed his designation to president and in 2002 yes in 2002 he held an referendum and that referendum extended him as a 5 years of president yes 5 years of president of pakistan he declared himself yes because he overthrew the democratically elected government and he declared himself as a what president for 5 years but yes but the pakistani media this the pakistani media human rights organization yes the pakistani media human rights organization then democracy activist this democratic or democracy activist said that this referendum means what he conducted in 2002 yes this referendum was based on mal practices yes based on what based on mal practices and fraud but no one is there to oppose him to oppose general parvez musharraf yes to oppose the general parvez musharraf so that is here the pakistani media human rights organization and democracy activists said that this referendum mal practice and fraud but even he did not heard the media human rights organization and democracy activists yes and in august 2002 yes in august 2002 he issued a uh, legal framework order yes he issued an order legal framework framework order yes he issued an uh, legal framework order see according to this legal framework order yes according to this legal framework order the president who general parvez musharraf yes the president general parvez musharraf can dismiss the national and yes national and provincial yes according to this order yes when he issued in august 2002 according to this order legal framework order the president can dismiss the national and provincial assemblies yes and the civilian cabinet work or the work of civilian cabinet looked after by nsc means council it is looked after by the whole national security council but even this national security council yes which is dominated by the military officers who are working under general parvez musharraf yes the civilian work were looked after by the whom nsc national security council but even that nsc was dominated by the whom dominated by the military officers yes okay after passing this law legal framework order after passing this law or the order elections were held to the national and provincial assemblies and some of them elected as a representatives some of them elected as what they elected as a representatives but they have a powers yes they have a some powers but they do not have a power to take the final decision because the final decision making power rests in the hand of military officers and general parvez musharraf then it shows that people may elected yes people may elected the representatives but 
they do not have a power to take the final decision yes the power to take the final decision is rest military officers and general pavej mushraf is so with this example or with this case study we'll get a first feature of this democracy that is in a democracy the first feature of the democracy that in a democracy yes in a democracy the final decision the final decision yes in a democracy the final decision making yes in a democracy the final decision making power must rest yes must rest with those with those elected by the people elected by the people elected by the first feature of the democracy yes so what happened here democracy form of a government people may have elected representatives but they have only some powers but the final decision making power rests in the hand of military officers and general pervez mushraf yes so this is what the first example with this first case study we got the first feature of the democracy okay let us move to the second case study yes okay second free and fair electoral constitute or free and fair electoral or elections yes okay so here in china yes the capital city of china beijing yes so in china elections are held in china elections are held after every 5 years yes in china elections are held after every 5 years or uh, 5 years for electing the chinese parliament called kwango renimin diabio dihai yes kwango renimin diabio dihai means national yes national peoples congress national peoples congress yes national peoples congress it's a uh, it's very difficult to write kwango renimin diabio dihai yes so that in our language we call it as a what national peoples congress okay see this national people congress yes this national people congress have a power yes this national people congress have a power to appoint the president of a country yes to appoint the president of whom appoint the president of a country why it has a power to appoint the president of a country yes the question arises because this national people congress has 3000 yes this national people congress has a 3000 members of elected from all over the country means in china yes 3000 yes it has a 3000 members of elected from all over the world all over the country so that reason they have a power to appoint the one appoint the president of a uh, china yes and some of the members are elected by the army and most important is here if a person wish to contest in the election yes or before to contest in the election a candidate needs to get a approval candidate needs to get a approval from the yes approval from the chinese communist party yes chinese communist party or we used to call it as a communist party yes chinese communist 
party. Just before a candidate wish to contest in the election, they need to get an approval from the Chinese Communist Party, and only those who are the member of a Communist Party or the small parties or eight smaller parties should ally to it. Ally to it were to contest in the elections held in the year of 2002 and 2003. Then they need to get a permission from whom? Chinese Communist Party. Then it shows that this party play an important role in a China. Yes, in a China. And the finally, the government is formed by the whom? Formed by the Communist Party. This Chinese Communist Party. Clear? Example is here. Since its independence, or Mexico got independence in the year of 1930. Yes. Since then, Mexico holds or Mexico conducts a regular election after every six years. After every six years. Yes. And you see, the country has never been ruled by the monarchical form of a government or dictatorship form of a government. Then it shows that a democracy form of government exists over there. Yes. But until 2000, yes, but until 2000, every election, yes, every election was won by a party called PRI. Yes, a party called what? P. R I yes. Then what is this of uh, what P R I party? Yes, institutional. Yes, institutional revolutionary revolutionary party. P R I institutional revolutionary party is yes. so here, but until two thousand is yes, until two thousand. Only or a party called PRI, Institutional Revolutionary Party. Yes, and even opposition did contest in the election, but they never managed to win in the elections because this PRI party, Institutional Revolutionary Party, yes, this PRI party used many dirty tricks to win in the election or used many unfair practices to win in the elections yes what kind of unfair practices okay so here the pri party forces yes or all the government employees must and should attend the party meetings must and should attend the what attend the party meetings if anyone failed then there will be a kind of punishment to those they did not mention over there but they forced is yes? they forced them to attend the party meetings, government employees. And teachers of the government schools, yes, teachers of the government schools used to force, teachers of the government schools used to force their parents to cast their vote to which party? PRI, Institutional Revolutionary Party. Yes. And even the media, yes, even the media and newspapers or the radio, yes, media also supported to the Institutional Revolutionary Party or PRI Party. Yes, PRI Party. So that reason, sometimes, yes, sometimes the polling booths were shifted by last minute. Yes, shifted from one place to another place by last minute. And this was made the people difficult to cast their food. So these kind of a dirty tricks, which was used by the PRI Party during the elections. Then, is it possible to see a good kind of a democracy over there? No. Yes. See, by reading these two case studies, yes, in China and Mexico. In China, the people doesn't have a right to elect the home, doesn't have a right to elect the representatives. Then, who play an important role there? The Chinese Communist Party play an important role over there. And in Mexico, PRI party, Institutional Revolutionary Party, which play an important role. Yes. With this, we will get a second feature of this democracy. Then what is that second feature of this democracy? See. 
in the democracy yes second feature of this democracy so democracy is yes, in a democracy or democracy is yes, democracy must be is yes, must be based on based on a is yes, based on a free and fair election yes so this is what a second feature of the democracy democracy must be based on a free and fair elections okay can we get to see free and fair elections nowadays in our democracy system ah in a few places where we can get to see but according to my as for my knowledge 90% we cannot get to see what free and fair elections yes so according to nowadays situation i am asking you or i am saying you yes so okay let us come to this the second democracy or second features of the democracy democracy must be based on a free and fair election yes second okay next third case study yes let us move to democracy or third case study one person one vote and one value it's nice yes, one person Yes, one person, one vote, and one value. Yes, this is not a third. Yes, one person, one vote, and one value. Okay, according to our constitution, yes, or the principle of we adopted is the principle of UAF. Yes, UAF. That is. universal adult franchise yes the principle of universal adult franchise is accepted by almost all over the country yes almost all over the country but there are some countries or but there are some examples of the instances denial of what denial of a equal right to vote in a few countries or in a few places for example the first is yes, first country that in saudi arabia is yes, in saudi arabia the women is yes, the women do not have a right to vote women do not have a right to vote is yes, means no equal rights over there women do not have a vote women do not have a right to vote is yes, second the most important estonia is yes, is a country is yes, estonia has made some citizenship rules Estonia has made citizenship rules where the people belonging to Russian minority community yes say here Estonia has made citizenship rules where the people belonging to Russian minority community facing is yes, russian minority community facing to get a right to equality of vote right to equality of vote is yes. so these are the two major examples of where they did not adopt this uaf is yes. if they adopted here but they made certain citizenship rules where the russian minority community facing a problem to get a vote right to vote so simply here we can say that a democracy is based on the fundamental equality of it is based on the what fundamental equality of political rights so with these two examples we will get a third feature of this democracy yes let us see what is that third feature of this democracy yes say in a democracy third feature of this A democracy is yes. in a democracy. Yes, in a democracy, 
each adult yes each adult citizen yes each adult citizen must have must have one oath and yes must have one oath and each oath yes and each vote must have this must have one value yes one value so this is what this is a third feature of the third feature of a democracy yes what is third feature of democracy in a democracy each adult citizen must vote and each vote must have one value yes clear third feature of the democracy okay let us move to next case study to get a fourth feature of democracy fourth feature of this a democracy okay rule of law and respect for rights yes okay here zimbabwe yes it's a country yes zimbabwe attained the independence or got the independence from white minority rule yes zimbabwe attained the independence from white minority rule yes zimbabwe attained independence from white minority rule in 1980 means they attained a freedom from the white minority rule in 1980 since since then the country has been ruled by yes since then the country has been ruled by and in name zanu pf yes zanu pf zimbabwe african national union yes so zimbabwe attained or got independence from white minority rule in 1980 since then the country has been ruled by the zanu pf party or zanu pf that led the freedom struggle and its leader is zanu pf leader robert mugabe yes robert mugabe yes its leader robert mugabe has been ruling the country yes its leader robert mugabe has been ruling the country since independence means from 1980 yes and see later is yes, elections were held yes elections were held and always won the won by the zanu pf party because the president robert mugabe yes he was a popular person in zimbabwe where he uses unfair practices or where he uses many dirty tricks to win in the what win in the elections who oh, robert mugabe yes so that reason every time the elections won by the zanu pf political party because robert mugabe in the election and the most important is here the media is yes, media newspapers is yes, televisions radios were controlled by the robert mugabe government and even sometimes many protests and demonstration were held against the robert mugabe but it was suppressed by the whom it was suppressed by the zanu pf political party by whom by the robert mugabe and there are some independent newspapers there are some independent newspapers but the government hashes over those journalists yes because those who printed yes or those who go against this party those who go against this party they used to punish them yes so that reason robert mugabe was a popular in zimbabwe yes and see here this required yes this require that the state should have or the state should give some responsible or some respect to the what respect to the basic rights of the citizen like such as a freedom of speech yes freedom to have opinions 
freedom to express their views in the public is and to form or to protest against the home against the robert mugabe yes but so all these kind of things should be given to the state and to the peoples yes but all these rights is controlled by the home controlled by an judiciary system where obeyed by each and every citizen of a country yes but who is controlling over the zanu pf i the leader robert mugabe yes so with this example we'll get a fourth feature of this democracy yes what is that let us see fourth feature of this democracy yes the fourth feature of this democracy is as follows democratic government yes a democratic government a democratic government is yes, democratic government rules within rules within limits by limits by constitutional constitutional and citizens yes citizens rights yes a democratic government rules within limits by constitutional law and citizen rights yes this is the fourth feature of the democracy yes so these are the major four features of the democracy yes clear features of the democracy yes then what is the simple definition of a democracy democracy is a form of government in which rulers are elected by the whom rulers are elected by the peoples yes because the people are the most important in our in a, a democracy yes clear what is the first feature of the democracy the first feature of the a democracy is in a democracy the final decision making power must and rest yes must rest with the home with those elected by the people yes a second in a democracy there should be an a free and fair elections yes and the third feature of the democracy is in a democracy each adult citizen must have a one vote and each have one value yes and fourth last yes feature of the democracy a democratic government rules within limits by constitutional law and citizens rights yes so these are the what these are the major features of a democracy and you must must and should keep in your mind uh, one more simple definition which was given by the former president yes abraham lincoln yes democracy is all about by the people of the people and for the people so this simple definition also you should keep in your mind clear what is democracy and tomorrow we'll discuss why democracy yes tomorrow we will go this why democracy part yes clear understood i hope everyone understood okay thank you have a nice day